The first one we're going to test is the orbital get link against file titans. Let's take a look at the changes here that they've made to the get link. Increased fire rate by 25%, increased rounds per salvo from 30 to 60, increased armor penetration, can damage heavy armored enemies, which is kind of crazy to be honest. Decreased cooldown from 80 seconds to 70 seconds. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of approach it like the 500 kg, okay? And hopefully don't die to it myself. That's going to be the goal. I'm going to risk it. We're going to get under him. I'm going to throw this down. Most definitely he's getting hit. The problem with this against the Bile Titan is going to be he moves around, right? Very fast. So he changes positions really quickly. So it's going to be hard to keep it on him. And yes, it does do damage. And having it against him will definitely be effective regardless. Because if he's damaged, you can just keep throwing it at him. And a 70 second cooldown is great. So we're just going to keep rotating here. I'm just going to stand here. No, no, it doesn't. It's not enough. It's not enough. You know what I mean? It's not enough. I'm pretty sure he's very low now. I'm pretty sure he's very, very low now, but it's just not enough, you know? His armor is also not cracked. But you see how low he was. You see that, right? Yeah, you can definitely deal damage to him with the orbital get link. That's pretty obvious. And it's going to be helpful in many situations, right? Like, if you have it, it's on a very low cooldown. And if you hit him with an EAT or whatever, and he's not going down, you just throw in the Getling, and it will most likely get the job done. You see what I mean? Let's take a look at what the changes with the 110 is real quick. Improved targeting. Increased projectile armor penetration. Now does 100% damage to heavily armored enemies instead of 50%. Increased projectile damage. Decreased, sorry. Projectile damage from 600 to 250 to compensate for the improved targeting and the extra damage from the increased armor penetration. Decreased explosion armor penetration. Explosion can now can no longer damage heavily armored enemies. So those are the changes. Now we're going to bring it in and test it against the Vile Titans and see the problem the one tens always had was the precision right it was always inconsistent if it can consistently hit him it could be very interesting so we're gonna take a look at that right now let's drop it right away and see if it cracks the armor and if it actually hits him at all because if it's as inconsistent as it used to be right well, that's not that's not fun let's do this oh wow Okay, that hit him straight up. Every single one of them hit him straight up there. That's huge. Now what I'm going to try to take a look at is if his armor is cracked. I don't see the armor being cracked right there. I'm going to throw another one. Well, we can technically check if it's cracked by shooting him here. No, his armor is not cracked. Okay. Let's do that. That's the second one. Now it's cracked, 100%. Right? I'm going to try to take him out here with my plasma shoddy. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, it, it is cracked. It is cracked. Three, four shots. Let's go! It works. So two of them consistently ca can break the armor there. I wonder if it's possible to get that armor crack with one. That's what I'm going to try out here. But the fact that it did that so easily and every single one of those got a hit was incredible. I almost got mine back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the sack here. We're going to destroy the sack first. And then we're going to throw the pods on them and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to destroy only the back one. That's fine. I'm going to land now and I'm going to throw the pod at him right away. I'm not going to land on him, obviously. I'm going to try to move far away from him. Take a look. Definitely doesn't kill him there. I'm going to throw another one. I'm pretty sure this should kill him. I might be wrong.
Yep, there you go. So, if you do destroy the sack and throw two of the pods at him, he's dead. Right? The precision on these eagles now is phenomenal. Right? That, that's a huge dub on its own, to be honest with you. Perfect hit. It also kills the charger on the way, huh? Did it did it crack the armor there? I think it actually cracked the armor. I might be tripping, but I think it did. Yeah, I think it did on the side. Don't have a good angle here. We're gonna rotate and try to find a good angle for our plasma shoddy. I might be wrong, but it looks like No 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 no, it's not cracked. It, it is not cracked. Okay. We're gonna use a second one. Yep. So, as long as they're slightly damaged, right? The two pods now definitely kill a Titan. Or you can hit him twice and then finish him with a plasma shotgun or any kind of plasma weapon in general. Which is absolutely phenomenal. It means that is another pick you can have now instead of the rail cannon to deal with bio titans. And that's a huge dub for me. Next thing we're going to test is the precision. Precision Strike. Decreased cooldown from 100 seconds to 90 seconds. Decreased spawn call-in time from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. This little change right here, where it has the call-in time decreased, could be huge. It means it's going to be easier to hit targets like Bile Titans. That was the problem with it. If you can get it to hit them, it pretty much does what the Orbital Rail Cannon does. It will destroy their armor, and quite honestly, that's all I need. After that, I can finish the ball titans with my primary weapons okay I'm gonna let him move i'm gonna let him move next time we push in okay i'm gonna get under him here literally boom throw this see what happens here i mean it killed me but it killed him too how did it okay we're gonna try that again can i rotate this way yeah, i can Bro, it one-shots him. Okay. That was the second kill with a one-shot in a row. Let him get close to me. I'm going to try to bait him. I'm actually going to run under him. Drop this and get the hell out of here. Three out of three. Ladies and gentlemen. That's three out of three. And those are easy kills. Those are easy kills. Chat, for all the people that don't know. I am partnered up with the one and only Hex Gaming. Now, please keep in mind on this channel, you will never see me work with someone someone that I don't actually like in terms of the product that they have. So I always reach out to them if I wanna work with them. I was lucky enough to have Hex Gaming partner with me. They've been amazing partners. They were kind enough to send me their latest controller, which is this beauty right here, the Phantom. Now look at the back buttons here. You have these amazing four buttons very clicky very nice buttons dude very very nice ones and obviously these buttons are also clickable here once again it's called hex gaming you can find their controllers on hexgaming.com you can use the code crazy mr pips from my own experience and a bunch of the community have have uh, already purchased these controllers they absolutely love the product their customer service is absolutely amazing they have changeable analogs which is awesome by the way and overall, the product is very high quality. I've been using these controllers for years and years. This is their latest controller, as mentioned, with some new back buttons and stuff like that. So make sure to check them out. They are on the costly side, but in general, like controllers like this always cost extra money. But in my opinion, for a person that plays a lot of PvP games on a high level, such as, you know, we've been top 500, top 100 in games like Overwatch, the finals, Destiny 2, and so on this is my choice and i absolutely love the product so if you're looking for a new controller make sure to check them out they're absolutely worth it and don't forget to use the code crazy mr pips you're going to get a discount and you're also going to help your boy out it's high quality and as mentioned on this channel i will never ever tell you about a product that i do not use so that is something to keep in mind you can always trust i'm always going to be very very open and honest about my opinions on any of the products that you have any questions about this one man eagle strafing run 
Boom. This is going to be the next one that we're going to test, I think. What do you guys think, chat? Listen to this. Increased uses from three to four. Huge. Increased armor penetration can now damage heavily armored enemies. This is interesting. Let's see what it can do. Maybe it can crack the armor. Okay, let the fun begin. That was a good one. I'm going to keep rotating here. Actually, not the best spot to test this shit, to be honest with you. I don't know if he's even going to push in here. He is, okay. That's going to be number two. That's a hit. I'm going to try to get him into a more open area. Chat, so we get a better idea, okay? Like, th I think this is going to be way better. Way better right over here. Yep, perfect. Pick up some ammo on the way. I don't know if that one hit or miss. I can't really tell. Did that break? Yep. That was the third hit, I believe. And it broke his arm. Okay. The fact that all of these things, the eagles, the orbitals, most of them now deal heavy armor damage is actually incredible. This opens up so many different setups to combine with even primary weapons, as you guys just saw right here. You see what I mean? That's all that I wanted. Like, I wanted to have these orbitals deal this heavy armor damage, so it gives me the ability to mix, mix up my builds. That's awesome. That right there was absolutely amazing. Precision Strike was the MVP of the buffed orbitals. 100% agreed. I think the, the consistency of that was incredible. I mean, we literally have the best community of all time.